Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Those are famous lines, and that's sort of Christ the hippie, right? It's like, hey, let it all hang out. That's an old phrase. Do your thing, and everything will come to you. And these lines have been interpreted in that manner many times. But that's seriously not the proper interpretation. Because there's a kicker with this injunction. And the kicker is this. For your heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's a lot different than the hippie thing. Right? Because the, there's a very, very, very interesting idea here. It's, it's certainly one of the most profound ideas that I've ever encountered. Um, and the idea is this, is that if you configure your life so that what you are genuinely doing is aiming at the highest possible good, then the things that you need to, to survive and to thrive on a day-to-day -day basis will deliver themselves to you. That's a hypothesis. And it's not some simple hypothesis, right? Because it, what it basically says is, if you dare to do the most difficult thing that you can conceptualize, your life will work out better than it will if you do anything else. Well, how are you going to find out if that's true? Well. It's a Kierkegaardian leap of faith. There's no way you're going to find out whether or not that's true unless you do it. So, no, no one can tell you either. Because, just because it works for someone else, I mean, that's interesting and all that. But it's no proof that it'll work for you. You have to be all in in this game. And so the idea is, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It's like, that's actually a fairly important caution when you're talking about not having to pay attention to what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear. It's like, what it's essentially saying is that those problems are trivial in comparison. And the probability is that if you manifest yourself properly in the world, that those things will come your way, is extraordinarily high. And I believe, I believe that that's exactly right. I mean, I, I've, I've watched people operate in the world, and I would say that there is no more effective way of operating in the world than to conceptualize the highest good that you can and then strive to attain it. There's no more practical pathway to the kind of success that you could have if you actually knew what success was.